Okay, going to show you from the Word of God that the Holy Scriptures come from God, not from the Papist priesthood, not from the Roman Catholic Church, a.k.a. Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18, but from God. That's who the Holy Scriptures come from. God is the one who gave us the Holy Scriptures, not the Roman Catholic cult, the Greco-Roman heathen religion that is just repackaged as Christianity. That's all the that Catholicism is, just Greco-Roman heathenism repackaged. That's all it is. It's not Christianity. It's a perversion of Christianity. So anyway, I'm going to show you some scriptures proving that the word of God comes from God, not from the uh, Antichrist Roman Catholic Church. First, turn to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19 to 21. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that take heed, as unto, a, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Who did the scriptures come from? Holy men that were spe speaking as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The Roman Catholic Church is not moved by the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. It's moved by the Spirit of Antichrist. That's who the Roman Catholic Church operates under, a false spirit, the spirit of Antichrist. Turn to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Scripture came from the inspiration of God, not from the Pope, not from the Catholic Church Fathers, not from the Saints, not from the, pap the Church Decrees or Church Councils, from God. That's who inspired Scripture. First uh, Thessalonians 2.13 Turn there. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it, not as the words of word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Who gave us the word of God? Who, who, uh, who caused us to receive the word of God? It was God. Notice that, not as the word of men, not as church fathers, not as councils, not as papal bulls, not as, you know, the words of, of Catholic saints, not as words of men, but as the word of God. God is who get, allowed us to receive the scriptures. Finally, turn to Second Samuel chapter 23, verse 2. The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. It wasn't the Pope told me what to say, or the, the Catholic priest told me what to say. The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. Who gave us the word of God? Who inspired the word of God? Who allowed us to receive the word of God? Who gave us that more sure word of prophecy? The Spirit of God. The Lord Jesus Christ. God is who gave us the scriptures. So scriptures did not come from the Holy Church, or the, the, pope, the pope, or whatever, the Antichrist Pope. That's who he is. He's, a, he's in the office. He is in, his, in a position of an Antichrist, by the way. He is another Christ. The Vicarious Philly D, the substitute son of God, or whatever the, whatever the blasphemous title they call him. The Pope didn't give us the Bible. The Catholic Church didn't give us the scriptures. God gave us the scriptures. You should take heed to that. Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult. Okay? And don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.